Now, count it out loud. Growing up, my parents only approved of A's and B's. That's right, anything below a B. Mm. That's that ass. So let me get this right. You got a D in history? Sorry, Dad. It's hard to remember. Oh, but you remember all these rap songs and can't remember these books? But cool the pants, Dad. See, just like most kids, I hated school. Only two things kept me going. First was the whooping. Mm. My parents didn't play. And second, the shorties. Ooh. Wait, I mean, what's school without the girls, right? No, the problem is, schools are purposely made to suck. I mean, come on, my guy. Who wants to wake up early in the morning, go all the way to a place full of kids you don't even know, yeah, sit still for seven straight boring hours with a teacher that doesn't even want to be there in the first place, get back home, and still have homework? Like, fam, then I just spent the whole day in school? I'm not trying to do homework. I'm trying to do home rest. And get this right, do it five days a week, 185 days a year for 12 years straight. Then you got college, that's another four years. Grad school, minimum four more years. And then if it all works out, you get to work a nine to five, five days a week doing something you hate until you hit 65. That's right, when you're six deep under. Welcome to adulthood. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm gonna take you back, back to the day I hid my report card. So it was fall semester back in my elementary school years. Now at the end of every semester, the school delivers a progress report. Now my school had a seven point grading scale. 93 to 100 was an A, 85 to 92 was a B, 77 to 84 was a C, and so forth. Now failing, man, I get the beats. See, my pops was born for this. Dedicating his whole life to mastering the art of the black love. Now at the time, my favorite class was PE. I mean, come on, my guy. Who doesn't like gym? You get to go to class, you play old period. Well, it's not the life, but here's the problem. According to school policy, PE class requires kids to bring PE clothes, consistent of a pair of gym shorts, t-shirt, and some sneakers. Now, each time you forget to bring PE clothes, the teacher takes off 10 points. Now, remember, seven point system, right? Miss one time, that's 10 points. Now you're sitting on the beat. Miss two times, another 10 points. Now you're sitting on the seat. Miss three times. Oh, have mercy. Now to put it into perspective, this was fall season, the snowy days, in which forces you to dress heavy in the morning, thereby having to pack a clean pair of shorts, t-shirt, and sneakers every single day. Now as you can guess, having to pack an extra pair of clothes for a whole semester, eventually, inevitably, you're gonna forget. So one morning your boy was sleeping in, oh sh I'm late. So I got to the bathroom, hit the shower, brush my teeth, put on my clothes, rush to the bus stop, oh thank god I made it. Onward, and I get to school. Now on this particular day, I had gym for first period. So I get to class, open my book back, and oh, damn, I forgot to pack my clothes. Now this was my third penalty. Remember, missing three times, that's 30 points a D. Oh, no, 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 Tim, you can't get a D in PE, my guy. Come on, dang. Then it hit me, wait a minute. I gotta steal someone's clothes out the locker. I got to the next locker, open it, looked in, yes. Men's got an extra pair of shorts. Bro, what are you doing in my locker? Damn, men's caught me red-handed. Mr. Jennings, Tim's stealing my stuff. Ain't that so <laughs> This man's a snitch. Tim, you're still in clothes now? No, Mr. Jennings, I just need PE shorts for the day. Oh, I see, you forgot yours. Okay, cool. Mr. Jennings wasn't tripping. All your boy needed was a pair of shorts for the period, and he seems cool with it. Brandon, let Tim wear your shorts for the period. Yes. And as for you, Tim, you can wear those shorts, but that's still a zero for the day. What? Now I'm bugging. A zero for the day means I've missed three whole classes. Meaning, um, <laughs> onward, and it's the end of the school day. Mr. Jennings hands me the report card, I open it, and damn, your boys got a D and P E. Damn, Tim, how you gonna explain failing P? Hey! So I started thinking, all right, Tim, you damn sure can't let mom and dad see this. They gonna kill you. So onward, and I get to the crib. Yo, Tim, you got your report card? Yeah. What'd you get? None of your business. Aha! Guess what, my boy? I got all B's. Ain't no whooping for me today, my boy. Now my brother was bragging, and then he hit me. Wait a minute. Since I can't write in cursive, who's better to sign my dad's signature than my big bro? Yo, him. I need a favor. What type of favor? See, I got a D in my report card. What? Boy, you about to get rocked. I know, but you can save me. Just sign my report card in cursive. What? Oh, hell no. Why not? Remember when you snitched on me for watching the hood? Yeah, 
but you were picking on me. Well, payback. <laughs> Man, you suck. Please do it. I don't want to get work. Okay. I'll sign dad on a report card for you. Okay, cool. Bro's down for signing for my dad. So I gave him the paper. He signs it, puts it in the envelope, and seals it. So onward, and it's the next day. I get to class, hand Mr. Jennings my report card. Hmm, Tim, who signed your report card? My dad did, Mr. Jennings. Oh, really? So he hands me the paper. I look at it, and oh, shh. This <laughs> signed dad. Oh, hell no. Literally, the letters D A D. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. You're in big trouble, young man. But you know what? I'll do you better. I need you to go back with a new report card and hand it to your parents. Really? Thanks, Mr. Jennings. So onward, and I get to the crib. All right, Tim, time to give Pop the real report card. But then an idea came to mind. Hold Oh, Forget that. I can sign it all by myself. So I get out a sheet of paper and start practicing my dad's signature. After a few attempts, I nailed it. So fast forward to after dinner, I get to bed. OK, Tim, just remember, be cool tomorrow. And Mr. Jennings would know a thing. But then my door opened. So you thought I didn't know about you, D. What? See, Mr. Jennings had pulled one over your oh. boy. The oh man called my dad during the school hours and snitched. Where's your report card? So, my guy, I'm going to ask you one more time. What would you do? Hand your pops in the report card with your fake signature or sit there and get the beat? Oh, sorry, Dad. I left it in my locker. You what? Sorry, Dad. Pull those pants down. But, Dad. Now. Ooh, ooh. Pop's going for the pull of pants down technique. Oh, he really pissed. How you get a D in PE? In PE? Oh, that nigga dumb dumb. Well, I forgot to bring my clothes. And now you're signing your own report card? I'm sorry, Dad. And then it hit me. Hold up. Well, I'm about to die. Love's having a good time listening to your boy get the beat. So I was like, Dad, I got something to tell you. What is it? See, I didn't sign it. You didn't? Then who did? Ho oh, ho ho, you better not, Tim. Them did. Them, get over here. Yes, Dan? You signed your brother's report card? Tim made me do it. So my pops looks deep into my eyes. How many points did you lose? Um, 30? 30? That means a lashing for every point you lost. Now 30 points equals 30 lashes. Oh, um, dead. But then my pops turned to my brother. Lem, what's 30 divided by 2? 15, Dad? That's right. You get 15 of your brother's lashes for signing his report card. But Dad, please forgive me. Forgive you? Okay, Dad, how about you ground us? Ground you? Hmm, let me see. You know what that means, right? No TV, no music, no video games, no going outside. It's just you and hitting those books for the whole semester. So, my guy, I'm going to ask you one more time. Would you take grounding or a whooping? Damn, Tim. No TV, no video games, no going outside. This sucks. Hurry up, you only got 10 seconds. 10, um, 9, well, 8, 7, come on, 6. Um, six. You know what? I'll make the decision for you. Starting today, you're grounded. Yes. No ass whooping today, my guy. So I get ready to leave. Oh no, where you think you're going? Oh, you're grounded, all right, but you're still getting your ass whooped. Get your butt over here. You two think you're smarter than me? Well, I'll smart this. Now, count it out loud. Now it's your turn. But I got all biz, Dad. Now count it. One, two, oh, you're not counting anymore. Oh, you got jokes now? So, moral of the story. It's good to be smart, but not too smart for your own good. <laughs>